Thank you, Deputy Speaker, and I rise to support the motion put to the House by the member for Murray Plains. This uh, parliament has the obligation to the people. That is why it is the lower house. It is the people's house. We need to be aware of what's happening right across the state of Victoria from border to border. And we're not if we're sitting in this place. And when I heard last um, parliament from the member for Eltham saying that uh, her mother had told her that the roads in regional Victoria were fantastic. That just shows order, how out of touch order. this government Member really is. Her seat, the minister, on a point of Deputy order. Deputy Speaker, as you've ruled previously, this is a narrow procedural debate. We're not debating the motion of the, uh, the motion on the paper by the member for Murray Plains. We're debating the narrow procedural motion order. as to whether we adjourn debate. Thank you, the member minister. has not mentioned the Thank motion you, about the adjourning debate. The member has relatively just started and will continue on the procedural motion ahead so of us. So I do the um, support the adjournment of the debate so that we can debate this motion, and that is why I do support the motion, because the regions have copped a flogging. They really have done it hard. The floods, the fires, and that's why the upper house went to uh, the regions. They understood that, and we should be doing exactly the same thing. I visited uh, Northern Victoria recently, and I saw the Rochester uh, decimation. I was in I was in the member for Euroa's electorate last week and saw the effects of the caravan park that cannot open and took no income for the whole of the summer. And the member for Eildon and what damage has been done from the floods around her electorate. So as I urge this parliament to take all the members from this parliament, particularly the Labor members who don't get out into the regions, ask the people of South West Coast what the roads are like. Uh, order. The Leader of the House on a point of order. Uh, on the point of order. I can hear the Leader of the Opposition saying this is getting silly. It certainly is. It's a please, silly please. adjournment. Leader of the House it's would assist the chair by not adjournment. responding to interjections. The member is again, once again, the member is not speaking on the narrow procedural motion. She is using it as an opportunity Thank you, Minister. Uh, to say things that are simply untrue about members on this order, side of the House order, who are regularly order, the not member only for, live in regional order, Victoria, the, we're Thank in you, Minister. Please Victoria. resume your seat. The member to continue, please, on the And as I've already said, but we'll quite clearly repeat, we need to adjourn the debate so we can debate this motion, because the people of particularly South West Victoria, Northern Victoria, the regions from over the west gate and further than this government knows how to go want to see want to see want this government to know what it's like to drive on our roads our dilapidated disgraceful roads that are causing Order. such such heartache Member and such Eureka. pain and fear in the community that I live in and the communities of Northern Victoria who need that funding for the roads recovery that they're just not getting and that they've explained it to me in my capacity as the uh, shadow freight and ports minister. So I think they should be coming out, they should be hearing about these terrible roads, they should be hearing about the pain of the cost of living is causing them, the cobweb of transmission lines that this government has left all across Western Victoria and talk to the teachers, talk to the students who are having such a difficult time. The regions are important and this government doesn't order, know how to order. acknowledge Remember the importance of the regions because they're Eureka. so... Order. And uh, she certainly, the member has order. strayed. Thank you. It the member has strayed. On the adjournment matter. I suggest we adjourn the debate so we can talk to the motion that the member for Murray Plains has so articulately put forward that there are trouble in the regions, there is flood affected communities who are struggling and who have been waiting. You can all laugh, but if you're one of these Order. people that for eight months. <laughs> You can all laugh, but people are out of their homes. The member is entitled to be heard, and I need to hear the member. And if members on this side would like to have an early lunch, I can assist. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And through you, I do think that we should be respectful of the fact that we are here today talking about a motion that will take the members of parliament out into the real world where people are suffering, where our roads are appalling, and that this gives them an opportunity to drive on those roads, or even if they have a driver, to try and look at their phone while they're on the road, because it's just impossible to do anything in the car, because it is so, so bad to drive on our pothole 
uh, roads that are so dangerous. So if it gets these members of parliament, particularly Order. on the other side, the member's time has forward. expired.